message boards where you say so nice things about it. Good night. Today on X-Play, we review Star Wars Galaxies and learn that Wookiees are not good at erotic dance. Everyone shivers over Warcraft 3, Frozen Throne, and Morgan steals Little Kim's wig to play Space Channel 5. What was she thinking? It's game time. Please welcome the Jekyll and Hyde of X-Play, Adam Zessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome to the show. And what a show it is. It is. It is. What? Gosh, it's exciting. We have kickboxing and, get this, intern torture. Those are unrelated subjects, by the way. We aren't kickboxing the interns yet. Yes. But first, we have our long-awaited Galaxies review. Yes, EverQuest with Wookiees. <laughs> You know, that, that sounded like it threw up. Look, we all know I'm a Star Wars whore, and a Lord of the Rings whore, and a Star Trek whore while I'm at it. You do a lot of whoring, you know. I know. The point is, somehow Adam got to review this game. And at first, I was jealous. So jealous, I stole a copy of Rain Man off his desk, and I threw it in the toilet. That was you. But after seeing this review, I felt better. This is the Galaxy's review. That, that was you? Okay, can we kill the theatrics? Star Destroyers and TIE Fighters are cool, but they have nothing to do with this game. That's better. Star Wars Galaxies is the most anticipated massively multiplayer game this year, so we expected to be a little disappointed, and sure enough, we were. First of all, this is a big game with a lot of content. But unfortunately, with every so-called innovation in the game comes a setback. Okay, that's not entirely true. There is some stuff that's just plain good. As you can see, Star Wars Galaxies is beautiful. The worlds you get to run around in are lush and believable. Unless you're on Tatooine, which is barren and believable. They're big, too. So big that getting from one town to another is a ludicrously long trek. To demonstrate, I'll take my little blue Mon Calamari guy to Anchorhead. Riveting, isn't it? Can't seem to find a vehicle. That's because there aren't any in this game. Hey, Adam, the guy who played Urkel is going to be on the screensavers. Ooh, ooh. This looks like a job for Auto Run. Have fun on the way to Anchorhead. Now, while I was gone, my character got into two fights, was incapacitated once, but finally made it to the town of Anchorhead. Yes, Star Wars Galaxies is so advanced, you don't even need to play it to play it. Critters roam around the landscape and have apparently mastered proper use of punctuation. Character creation is no less impressive. You can choose from eight different races and each is very customizable. Mm-hmm. Sexy. Many people are calling this game EverQuest with Wookiees. But in EverQuest, improving your character is centered squarely on combat and gaining levels. Galaxies rewards you for doing whatever it is you want to do. Want to get good with your blaster? Use it. Want to score with the ladies? Get to the nearest cantina and show them your best moves. Oh my god, my eyes! Oh my eyes! Unfortunately, you still have to do a ton of boring, repetitive tasks to become good at anything in this game. It's really no different than any other game of this type. I mean, how many times do we have to say it? Killing hundreds of little space creatures just isn't fun. Unless they're Jawas. Come here, you little hooded punk. This is for selling me the droid with a bad motivator. 
In case you had your eyes closed there, combat looks silly, especially when you're trying to shoot a critter that's chewing on your ankles. A marksman with a blaster rifle should not have to run in terror from a little kitty. Here my Wookiee warrior is killed by butterflies. Butterflies! And the entertainers? The less said about them, the better. Oh, for God's sake, let the Wookiee dance! The big problem with this game is that it just doesn't feel much like Star Wars. It's a functioning, massively multiplayer game that's been hosed down with Star Wars juice. And that's about it. You never feel like there's a point to playing this game outside of improving your character. The saving grace in this game is the community of players. These people are friendly, helpful, and not nearly as nerdy as we expected. In the coming months, the developers have promised all kinds of improvements. We'll hope for the best, but we've heard that promise before. At this time, the most we can see giving Star Wars Galaxies and Empire Divided is a disappointing two out of five. Go Wookie, it's your birthday. Go Wookie, it's your birthday. I don't know which is more damaging to my eyes, the Wookie or that. Anyhow, what's worse in this game is that you have to watch the Wookie dance to heal your battle fatigue, okay? <laughs> so like if you're, if you're fatigued from battle, you gotta you gotta watch the Wookie do that. It's scarring you. Now, that's how you heal yourself in galaxies, <laughs> watching the entertainers. It's pretty stupid. It's completely <laughs> stupid. Ugh. Anyhow, I wanna make one thing perfectly mm. clear. This okay. is not a game. Well, you learned this watching me play. I this did. is not a game <laughs> if you wanna be a Jedi. This is exactly the game for the people who wanna be Tauntaun Handler number four. Now, I'm holding out hope the galaxies will get better. Oh, LucasArts does promise they're going to add vehicles and space travel, and these things get better with more people, and it could be fun. It could be. It could be. They have a lot of stuff they got to do. So yes. we're going to wait until that stuff shows up, and we'll revisit it and mm -hmm. let you guys know if it's actually improved. But until then, don't buy this game. Wait and see what actually happens. Yes, yeah, so unless you have a burning desire to you know, live out the life of the third rebel soldier on the left, there's just not enough here to warrant the 50 bucks. Yeah, write us if you actually want to do that. I'm right. Send a picture. I'm curious. I wrote a haiku about it. Oh, goody. I know. Don't you just love those? Mm -hmm. oh, I love the music. Soothing. Galaxies is lame. Butterflies bent. My Wookiee. I'll not pay for this. Good. Coming up, Warcraft 3, Frozen Throne, and we find new ways to humiliate our interns. Are you missing out on the wonders of the internet and the convenience of email because you just can't understand computers? Are you offline for that big promotion or better paying job because your computer skills aren't what they should be? Or are you a computer user who's frustrated because you just can't understand the complicated manuals? Introducing Learn2, the fastest, simplest, easiest way ever to master the computer and the privacy of your own home. I think with Learn2, all you have to know is to turn on the computer. If you can find that power button, you can learn how to use a computer. What I learned in an hour with Learn2 would have taken me 10 hours with a computer class. Over the years, I've demonstrated thousands of new products, but every once in a while, I run across a new item that's truly noteworthy, and that's the case with Learn2. And now, for the first time, Learn2 can be yours absolutely free. That's a $69 value. You pay for shipping and handling only. If you order now, we'll send you this MDR Sports Radio absolutely free, just for trying Learn2. I'm Matthew Lesko, and my new book will tell you how to tell bill collectors to go shove it! My new book shows you 4,000 government programs that you can use to pay your bills and get out of debt forever! Get $2,000 to pay your rent or mortgage! Or $600 to pay your phone bill! Or even $7,000 to pay your credit card bill! I've been researching government grants for over 25 years, and government officials don't even know about these programs. And you've never seen a book that's so easy to use. Here's a program to pay for your prescription drug bills, or a program to pay for your living expenses, or programs to pay for your housing bills, apartment bills, or even your student loans. Over 80% of the people in the United States, including millionaires, are eligible. 
isn't it about time you get rid of your debt once and for all? If you don't use these programs, somebody else will. So call now and get free money to pay your bills. Call 1-800-419-5353 now. The greatest games in the world are the ones where you are the champion. I don't know what happened there. Robinson throws it down with authority. Davis sets the solid pick. Williams nails it. Madden, NHL 2004, Tiger Woods PGA Tour. And the world's greatest games are all on X-Play. We're going to tell you which one is worth your money and which one you should skip at all costs. Adam Sessler, Morgan Webb. X-Play, weeknights 11, 10 Central, only on Tech TV. Once again, the children of the corny, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Ooh, ah, hello again. Yeah. <laughs> we have an expansion pack. It's Warcraft 3, the Frozen Throne. Now, I, I knew about this. In the Frozen Throne, let me just say this is a terrible idea. Speaking as a man, which I am, the idea of any guy sitting on a block of ice, you don't look regal, and you know what I mean. Yes, ew. Warcraft 3, the Frozen Throne expansion pack. We're not expanding. Betray in truth, it was I who was betrayed. Nice horns. I'm guessing you're not much of a baseball cap guy, are you? Take it easy, fanboys. I kid. I kid because I love, and I do love this game. With Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne, Blizzard Entertainment has once again proven that they know how to make an expansion pack that counts. In a continuation of the story from Warcraft 3, this game picks up with Illidan, a bad guy with a chip on his shoulder the size of Brooklyn, setting out to uncover an ancient and powerful artifact. In heroic pursuit, however, is the night elf, Maiev, and her trusty sidekick, Naisha. Do not attempt to take him without the rest of us. The story elements as told through these cutscenes are first rate and easily on par with what Blizzard has produced before. The spoken dialogue is professional and believable, with the exception of Naisha, who delivers her lines with all the conviction of an adult film star. Are we being invaded? I'm game. But you might be asking, how's the gameplay, Morgan? To which I'll respond, just spiffy thanks. The single player campaign contains some downright excellent mission designs. Very rarely does the Frozen Throne fall back on the old build the base, build an army, and crush the enemy design. Instead, you'll be faced with all kinds of interesting situations. We're wasting time here. Interesting. There's also a cool bonus campaign that plays a lot like another Blizzard classic, Diablo. Here, you go on a series of quests, leveling up your character and collecting cool items. If anything, this bonus campaign shows just how versatile this expansion game can be. Of course, there are also plenty of new units to play around with. Each race has access to a new hero, and there is also a group of new spell-breaking units designed to help players counter an opponent who favors using lots of special powers in the game. This is a great addition that will clearly lead to new and interesting strategies on Battle.net in the months to come. We're wasting time here. The Frozen Throne is a classy act all the way around. We've grown accustomed to other game makers releasing half-ass expansions, but Blizzard is rocking hard and we thank them. This is a great addition to the original Warcraft 3 and actually worth the slightly expensive price tag. X-Play gives Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne, a way better than you might think, 4 out of 5. Illidan is out there somewhere. It's a solid expansion pack. That guy's horns were ridiculously big. I could use them as an evil coat rat. Oh, very useful. Now, believe it or not, even though we play games all day, Morgan and I, this is true, we get bored mm -hmm. on the job. It can happen. Galaxies, I'm thinking of you. So, we wanted to give our viewers a behind the scenes look at what happens when life at X-Play gets no. We're bored. I'm bored. I'm really bored. bored. Intern race. race. That's it. X-Play intern race rules. First intern to get the soda wins. Cheat codes are encouraged. Anything goes.
Refreshing, but I, you, you just left your intern like hitting the wall. Well, you deserve it, but you, you don't have to worry. It's kind of like when you're walling your sim in the Sims, you know, they die, they disappear, and then like a little urn shows up on the floor. You just put it on your mantle and you go, wow, pretty. Hmm. Up next, Morgan wigs out over Space Channel 5. Ooh la la. We're extending our amazing five free CDs giveaway. Even we couldn't believe how popular our Video Professor Software Savers offer would be. The phones have been ringing off the hook, stock has been flying off the shelves, but we want everyone to get a free pack of software. So we're extending this amazing offer, giving you time to call in right now and get a great pack of software for the whole family free. These self-help and informational CDs contain a wealth of knowledge that no home should be without. Take a look at what you get free from household names you know and trust, like Home Depot, Rand McNally, American Medical Association, and more. From wallpapering and plumbing to building cabinets, let the Home Depot experts show you how to do all your home improvements. Then create your own home on your PC. Repaint, add a new addition, and see it all in a 3D walkthrough. Create customized, printable travel maps of anywhere in North America. Plan trips ahead of time, add points of interest, restaurant stops, and more. You'll never get lost again. Research almost anything in seconds. History, maps, nature, science, geography, trivia, and more. And for medical help for your family, turn to the Family Medical Guide, covering everything from minor scratches and burns to emergency assistance with CPR, shock, bleeding, and heart attack. It's essential for any home. That's over $100 in free software that turns all this into this. All you pay is $6.95 for shipping and processing. It really is free. Video Professor gives you all this free because we know once you see how these CDs improve your life, you'll come back to us for more great software. You have no contracts to sign and no commitments. Plus, as an added bonus, if you call right now, we'll also throw in an extra free gift. This free typing tutorial uses fun games and tests to improve your typing skills. This special extended offer can't last forever, so make sure you don't miss out. It's free. It's risk-free free. Our friendly operators are standing by, so call right now to get your free software pack. To get your free software pack and free bonus CD, you must call now. Call 1-800-478-5028. Monday nights on Tech TV, secrets, lies, and assassinations. The Apollo photographs are faked. They're encoded also with what appears to be deliberate mistakes. Explore the dark side on conspiracies. Then subcultures and strange obsessions. I want to make toys for myself, you know? I mean, really, it's like, if I was collecting toys, what would I want? See what happens when misfits, mavericks, and rebels yeah. unite on Nerd Nation. It all starts Monday night at 8.30, 7.30 Central, only on Tech TV. Once again, the Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers of gaming. Rhythm not included. We are back, and we have a review of a game that makes me go, shoot, shoot. Morgan likes her Space Channel 5. Here it is, Space Channel 5, Ooh La La's Cosmic Attack. Space Channel 5! Uh-oh, it's starting to get funky in here. The original Space Channel 5 for the Dreamcast has been ported over to the Game Boy Advance. 
But before you ooh la lions get too excited, the game loses a little in the translation. Yes, it's the exact same game. You need to dance your way through the levels to defeat aliens, bosses, and other reporters. You copy the moves barked at you by your opponent, and when you succeed, your television ratings improve. It's comforting for us to know that the more people you shoot, the higher your ratings are. But let's not give the network any ideas. But as you can see, this week's ratings are down, so whose turn is it to be taken out back and shot? Now that we've remembered how to play the game, let's remember why we played Space Channel 5 in the first place. Yep, that was the reason. People liked Space Channel 5 because they thought Ula La was hot, which she was. did not play Space Channel 5 because they loved the game's striking functional similarity to Simon. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So why would we play Space Channel 5 to look at a pixelated, poorly rendered ooh la la? And those are supposed to be funky dancers following her, not army men. Space Channel 5 takes a lot of concentration, and if you play where there's any ambient noise or distraction, you're never going to get anywhere. Oh my god, and the cops came, and oh, it was just Horrible. Do you have to talk here? I almost killed the dream. What's she supposed to be? I think she's dressed up as a tramp. That. And this is a game you can't play with the sound off, which assures that if your friends aren't bothering you, you're definitely bothering your friends. So buy some headphones. Oh, the bracket! My God, what is she dressed as? I think she's supposed to be RuPaul. Ah, that's it. That's it. The game does have great funky beats, the classic Space Channel 5 style, and a girl that you can almost ogle over. X-Play gives Space Channel 5 for the Game Boy Advance a 3 out of 5. What are you wearing? Oh, no, no, I was just acting. You look really nice. Thanks. I'm really sorry I upset you. I mean, you just look so interesting. I mean, the wig. Did you steal from a sleeping hooker? No, I don't want lice. I stole the boots from a sleeping hooker. Well, if you'd like to see any more of Morgan as Ula La for some reason you wanted to, go to X-Play Extras at techtv.com slash X-Play. In a moment, beefcake for everyone in K1 World Grand Prix. We moved to Earthlink because I only want the internet that's good for them. Because they're not ready for the same internet. Because I know what he's doing online. He's not bugging me all the time. There's some words I don't want them to learn. Different families, different passions, different reasons for moving to Earthlink. Call 1-800-827-0142 and get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. New parental control software lets you customize features for each child. You can set time limits and even filter out websites, emails, and keywords. We moved to Earthlink because it's safe for him and I get an internet without training wheels. Create the online experience that's right for your kids with new parental control software and get six months of dial-up service featuring Earthlink Accelerator at half price. Call, go online, or visit these retailers. Move to Earthlink. It revolves around you. Oh, I shouldn't have to sell a kidney to get a new PC. No worries. Over here. Gateway presents the We've Got PC Savings coming out our USB ports event. Find a phone now to get a free processor upgrade on a new Gateway PC still under 500 bucks, or go with a mobile M305X notebook for under 800 It features the fast Intel Celeron processor, CD burner DVD combo, and $200 back. Call 1-800-555-2081 and go mobile for less. Sunday nights on Tech TV are all new. 
First, the truth is stranger than fiction on Secret Strange and True. Then, a revealing look at sex in the digital age. Hi, gorgeous. Wired for sex. And extraordinary ideas come to life on Invent This. Then, after Fresh Gear, what if everything you were told to believe was a lie? Explore Tech TV's new series, Conspiracies. Watch Sunday night starting at 8, only on Tech TV. Are you ready? Play hard. It's almost as exciting as anime porn. <laughs> Yay! Go wild. This is a great job I got here. I say no more! Join the fun. Everybody's feeling good. Woo All new Tech TV Late Nights. X-Play at 11. Unscrewed at 11.30. The screensavers at 12. Only on Tech TV. Next week, it's Space Week. Find out how to track every satellite orbiting the Earth. Plus, watch the celestial events of 2004. Eclipses, meteor showers, Armageddon. Patrick looting his pants. And control what? your telescope. That's a celestial event. Control your telescope with your personal digital assistant. Space Week. In Mooney. <laughs> Next week, you see, on the screensavers. <laughs> Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man, Adam Sessler, and Morgan Webb. Yes, we are back, and we have a game about kickboxing, which is very popular in Japan. Yeah, now also, the Japanese have this really curious way of naming their mixed martial arts, you know, tournaments or whatever, and this is no exception. This is K-1 World Grand Prix. K-1 World Grand Prix sounds like a racing title. But it isn't. K1 looks like a boxing game, but it isn't. Really. What K1 is, is an excellent opportunity to give your opponent a kick to the head. K1 World Grand Prix is based on a form of tournament fighting popular in Japan, but not particularly well known here in the US. The tournament allows fighters from varying martial arts disciplines, such as karate or taekwondo, to enter the arena, throw a few punches, and then kick the holy hell out of each other. The game gives players a full complement of real-world kickboxers to fool around with. In a nod towards realism, the Grand Prix mode lets you take your chosen fighter through a grueling training schedule, beating up punching bags and sparring with your posse. All this training should translate into deadly, graceful form in combat. The emphasis here is on should. Fighting out of the blue corner, weighing 232 pounds. Ringside, the game presents you with the usual niceties and ceremonial hoopla. Similarly, between rounds, you can ogle scantily clad video game ring girls. Excellent. Oh, yeah. This is, um, let's just call it a necessary weirdness. After the bell, however, the game focuses itself on ultraviolence. And for those of you purists out there who feel that hitting below the belt is dirty pool in K1 World Grand Prix, that particular behavior has been elevated to an actual strategy. Well, I don't know how I feel about this. Anyway, once you do get knocked down in a refreshing twist of gameplay, you'll have to earn the right to get back up again by correctly timing a couple of button presses. Two, Much easier said than done. Additionally, you can relive famous K1 matches, and as a cool bonus, you'll be treated to a little bit of video from the original fights. Better than Cable. Fans of the real-world events will no doubt find a lot to like about the game's attention to the subtleties of kickboxing. Oh yes, very subtle. But for those who crave big afros or exploding heads, you're going to have to look elsewhere for your entertainment. Not a bad game by any means, but slightly monotonous in its execution. The K1 World Grand Prix is probably the best surprising with a kick to the shins game out there. But with neophytes and non-enthusiasts in mind, we're going to give K1 World Grand Prix an average score of three. Out of five. You know, I think the game's cool and all, but I can really do without the repeated crotch kicking. I was unsurprisingly unfazed by it. It's so uncool. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're very glad you've been watching the show. I mean, we've, we've really run the gamut here. We have we have Wookiees on the show today. Wookiees, we had ooh la la. And we made it very clear that Adam is the most desirable male out there. 
Plus, there is the frozen throne, which I can do. <laughs> and K1, which you're not going to demonstrate anything on <laughs> whatsoever. All right, go home, go to our website. There's funny stuff there. Tech TV.com slash play.